Assange. Here he comes. Travis Passier is a middle blocker. Jordan Richards, another one of the outside hitters. Nemo, Nehemiah Mote, comes out for a start, along with Luke Smith, the much travelled outside hitter, Luke Perry. As already mentioned, a very, very good Libero indeed. Plays his uh, club volleyball in Poland for Zheshov. Mark Lebedou runs the uh, ship for Australia. Martin Collins, the women's head coach, coming in as his assistant for this event. Confirmation of the squad that he is sending out with uh, the Sage, the man pulling all the strings. So that's Australia. Here comes Japan, led out by Nazahiro Yanagida, their captain, who gets a start today, a rare start, comes in off the bench. Big impact player off the bench, but he's getting a start today. Yuji Nishida is the teenage sensation, 19-year-old big, big hitter. Masahiro Sakita is joined by Yushi Ishikawa, the other big hitter. And the middles today will be Kentaro Takahashi and Taishi Onodera with Tomohiro Yamamoto, the libero for Yuichi Nakagaichi. Well, he shuffled his deck a little bit. The big change sees a start for Yanagida. Tatsuya Fukuzawa has been uh, the third offensive wheel much of the time during this World Cup, but uh, Yanagida gets the nod today. And how Australia deal with these thrilling outside hitters, these young guns that just bring so much heat on the edge for Japan, who are determined a lot about how this match will play out. As always, best of five sets. Win a set, you get to 25 points, but you must win it by two clear points. If it goes into a fifth set, that's a sprint, a tiebreaker to just 15 points. Here we Max Staples, the skipper, to get this one underway in front of a packed house. Very, very few empty seats in the green arena, Hiroshima, for this one. And we are underway, Staples. Serves Yamamoto, nice comfortable take. That's nice, easy put away for Yuki Ishikawa. I don't think we've seen at this level already if service reception is perfect and the setter is just put in a position to lay it up for somebody. That's usually all it needs. On Adira. And a very, very good campaign with his blocks into double figures. Puts him in the top five or six in the competition. That's coming over on first touch. Oh, a huge mistake early from Max Stables. The overpass absolutely brutalised. This is what you've got to do. If it comes back, it's a freebie. Drill it. Ishikawa bringing the heat early for Japan. So Yama, or rather on Adira. We'll look for another one. Expect better service reception this time. Oh, he's made a mess of that as well, almost. Well, that's brilliant rescue work. Japan's so strong in their backcourt. But Australia should just set up here and put it away. And boom. That's what they needed to get themselves on the board. Nice take. Just drilled across there. Richards. Turn that one down. Very, very nearly an overpass on service reception again, but they just got away with it. And uh, Arash Desange did a great job. Oh, that's just barely scraped over the net, and it's been drilled. Once that got picked up, take cover. Now Ishikawa is on fire early here. All he had to do was watch that, Takahashi. Ishikawa did the rest. It's Australia versus Ishikawa at the moment. And Ishikawa was winning. And an ace drops in. Well, Masahiro Zakita is not one of the great dazzling ace servers, but he's nailed this one. Richards watched it, let it go, and then went, ah, I got that one wrong. So Zakita says, thank you very much. Take that. Take that all day long. Fast start by Japan then. The 
take by Richards, who will get third touch as well. The block's there, and somehow they've kept this up. And don't tell me he's found another one. He has. Yuki Ishikawa just rubs one off the block effortlessly. That's the kind of point that will really dishearten you if you're in green and yellow. So there is a challenge on the block touch here. Mark Lebedou throws a flag down early on this one. A little bit stunned, looking shell-shocked. Everything, literally everything is flowing through Ishikawa at the moment. He doesn't look too concerned by this challenge, does he? But is there a touch there? Is there a touch? Just, just called on the big hitting Lincoln Williams, who I'm sure will be seeing more of at the start today, Williams. But he's in there now. He is Australia's top scorer in the competition. That was a touch he didn't need. And Australia, wait till the last moment. And then say, you know what? It's time out time for us. You're burning it that early. It's not good. All right, it's a really nice swing, man. I see. Okay. Most of the time, that ball's going, balls, uh, they don't get that one after that. Okay, uh, great short serve, keep going there. And it's nice. One side out. Hey, long timeouts. Perry's no fool, is he? Get the referees on your side, share a joke with them. Might just help. Yeah, good luck with that. The referees call it as they see it. And they call it right 99% of the time. Here is Masahiro Sakita there. At 5 1 Japan, it feels like more. See much of Nishida as a weapon yet. But now wait a minute. That's been overturned. While we we're looking at replays, that must have been touch at the net. Yeah. What else is going to go wrong for the Aussies? I'm sure that must happen finally. Yeah, they must have called. Must have been a call on Desange, the setter earlier. He was right under the net there. Anyway, nothing wrong with that one. Travis Passier taking that one off the quick set. Australia struggling to hold on here. Early. Really slow out of the blocks. Lincoln Williams. Serves Yamamoto. And that's very, absolutely very by Kentaro Takahashi. That will take Japan to the first technical timeout. Absolutely cruising through this opening set. Now I hope the rest of the match is as one sided as this. Doesn't usually work out that way. And so far, so good. Come 
Before coming out here to Hiroshima, Japan played their first five matches in Fukuoka, and uh, only one of those went into four sets. So Japan either beat you pretty handily or get beaten pretty handily. Mm, the difference maker was uh, Argentina did take a set off them here. It's a fast start against the Aussies. He's coming back on first touch again. Australia, their own worst enemies here. Well, this is just too easy. Takahashi has helping himself to another freebie. Just not helping themselves at all here, the Aussies. Well, well, well. Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. The Ishikawa serve is a weapon. Uh, went after Jordan Richards again there. Taking and I wonder if Mark Levadou might be tempted to just sit Jordan Richards down for a for a shift here because he's having a tough time with service reception. You won't need anyone to tell him that. Sometimes you just have to help your player out, give a break. Let him eat all, refocus. We have a good chance. service reception game is just not up to speed at all at the moment the Aussies if that doesn't change they have no chance in this match at all and it's one of the big servers that they're facing right now in uh, Yuki Ishikawa it's a better take not perfect but it's better still no play available there though for uh, Lincoln Williams and coming is guess who the man who seems to be absolutely everywhere at the moment Yoshikawa watched his kid sister Miyu make a breakthrough for the women in the World Cup, made her debut, came off the bench, put 21, 20 points up against Russia, the teenager, and really has cemented her place in the women's squad, following in the footsteps of big brother Yuki here, who couldn't have been prouder, apparently. Uh, Richards has done a much better job with that. Oh, that's just a miscue for Lincoln Williams. Oh, this is... This is just a collection of errors, this. Well, the Australians are capable of playing at a much higher level than we've seen so far in this first set. And that's just a bit of our bad luck. Richard's almost finding an ace there. You can have a look at that. Why wouldn't you? Need something. Didn't miss by much, did it? You're not going to get any closer than that. Well, this is a rout, this first set. Japan not even halfway there yet. Three points. Australia scored. Takahashi gets a sympathetic part on the back. 
from his coach, good player on his day, Yuichi Nakagaichi, representing the country in the Olympics. Enjoying the fact that he's got a start here, Yanagida. Most of these Japan players were playing in the World Championship a year ago in Bulgaria and Italy. Well, they really are blending and bonding together very well indeed. Uh, here comes more trouble, another big server. Uh, Richards has handled that really well. There was a block there, but they can't keep it in play. Max Staples will take that. That's what they've got to do, getting the Shida out of there. But Japan, with this massive lead, can just play the side-out game from here if they wish to. Bonadira wasn't thinking side-out. He was thinking, hey, I can give myself another stuffed block here. Didn't quite come off. Desange overheats that one. Finders fine tune now. Not for an earlier miss. Left handed swing from Lincoln Williams. Ishikawa with the take. Backside to Nishida. Easy. Easy as you like. Luke Perry was there. That was too good even for Perry. And Perry will pick a lot of stuff up, but he committed inside. He went down the line. Approaching the second technical timeout here. Japan banging on the door of a double digit lead. Shouldn't get it here. No, it has to be dealt with. Nemo taking that one high. Nehemiah Mote giving his full name. Nemo to his buddies. Blocked out of it. Travis Bassier saying that one. Starting to settle down here. Obviously, the first set was gone. Uh, the Aussies now warming up into this. Just got caught stone cold in the first half of this set. Yamamoto will take those all day long. And Ishikawa. Hit the antenna. Well, well, well. Well, we've seen this in previous Japan matches. Everything looks good and everything's on the same page and they're rolling and then suddenly they'll get very cold. Here it shouldn't hurt them. But uh, the lead is down to six. That's a real soft, slow one from the Sanch. And now Mishida can take care of that. So Japan to the technical timeout. Comfortable. Well, Australia are building a little bit of rhythm here, belatedly. Oh, 
Right, let's see what happens now then. Sekita. His serve, their service reception really has picked up, and Richards, none more so than him, he finds a nice cross court kill. Let's take a couple of blockers on, slipped it inside the blockers. Backcourt defenders could get anywhere near it. Can't play much better than that. And after his shaky start, Jordan Richards has certainly settled down. This won't come as any shock to Japan. The surprise was they were having things as easy as they were in the first half of that. And Australia just couldn't seem to deal with serve at all. Here's Williams. And they have to go for their serves because they've got to pull a lot of points back here. And I think Mark Lebedou will be. Realistic enough to know whilst they're probably not getting back into this first set, it's where they go from here that really matters. Okay. Can't give away the kind of start that uh, the Aussies gave away. Williams goes again and uh, just look at uh, how far that went back off for Yuki Ishikawa, who did not swing on that at all. That just hit him. The ricocheted almost off the court the other side. Gives an indication of the heat that Lincoln Williams can generate. So Richards. Yeah, the Aussies looking to try and pull the first of these six points they need back. Nicely taken. Really yeah. down the line. Yushi Kishida. Only 19 years old. Still got a lot to learn. But all the tools are there. But absolutely outstanding player. Once he broke in last year, there was no question of him being sent back down. He's running with the big dogs now. Here's Takahashi. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, I'm not sure. And Travis Passier was quite on the same page as uh, Arash Dosange there. Bit of a tough take. He sent it backside. He was always chasing it. Got there, got there in the end. That's the most important thing. The Passier will now serve. Nice one. Skim the net. That one's gone. Madeira. We're going to see Issei Otake come in for Masahiro Sekita. Interesting player, Otake. Brought in for his height, a good blocker, but also a very strong serve. We may see him inserted into the rotation as a pinch-hitting server for Japan if the need arises. Nishida serving now, and Richards has got under it, and there's some work to be done here. And good work done on that far side. That's a nice take. Staples lurking on the outside, got some work to do. Got the better of the block. Ishida out. Fuji comes in as center now. Which means Otaki stays there. Oh, well, there's an early whistle there that is going to go against Japan. Well, that's why. Lost himself at the net there, the new man. Fuji, that's a little touch on the way down, that's all it takes. Well, Australia continue to start clawing this back. They might have a chance at a point here as well. Itake's got to take this. Oh, lovely. Big hitter is saying Itake. That was all about touch. Look at the time the block had to get set. But he delivered that with such finesse. Even Luke Perry couldn't pick it up in the back court. It keeps Japan in their comfort zone. It brings Masahiro Yanagida back up. Richards was chasing that one. And there's a miscommunication there. There's almost a misfire the other way as well. Now, who can get a hold of this ball? It looks like the Aussies have done it. And then the block comes in to take Richards out. A big block. Was this on Adira? It was indeed. Oh, 
Ishikawa was hustling over there, but that was all Taishi Onodira. Read it perfectly. Richards tried to send it through, and it's sent back. So Japan still with this very, very healthy lead. Oh, my goodness me, they are serving well again. They'll drop out. The Staples will take that one. Carl was there, but couldn't bring it in. Staples to Yamamoto, who's picked it up beautifully, and Shikawa sends that away. Perry well, not for the first time tonight. Just undone by the quality of the hitting on the outside. Shikawa in particular has been absolutely lethal. Drilling winner after winner. On Adira then. Will serve and it's a Tarko is dropped next to the rotation. For Japan. Well, as for Australia, it should be uh, Naomi Mote. So it's a pretty soft one in there that's well handled and sent back by Yanagida. Took a touch on the way through and Japan almost over the winning line here. There's a switch up as Nishida comes back in. Uchi will sit out. Uh, this Ayotaki will only have one thing in his mind, serve this set out. He's got the serve to do it as well if he gets it right. That's the first one, it's going to come back. Oh, I've got a piece of that though. DeSantis did really well there and so too did Lincoln Williams. Side out. A big serve, it was uh, asking to be put away there. DeSantis did really well to get a defensive block on it. Sakita will come back in, and that's a Take sat down for this rotation. Still six points to find here. The Aussies. Impossible situation. Well, at least they've staved off the embarrassment of that first half of this first set, which really was just not very good at all. Big win goes. Looks like he's wrapped it up, although well, no, I think the Aussies are going to say, well, let's challenge it. Not sure they're going to win this challenge. When you've just lost the set, you might as well throw a challenge flag down, see what you get. No, that's an ace all the way. Ishikawa was second of an absolutely dazzling opening set. Japan, who jumped into that early lead and were never threatened. 25-17, they take the first set, but just some signs there that Australia, over the second half of that first set, were starting to work their way into this match, and Japan may not have it as easy going forward. But as it is, they put the first set on the board. And Australia know what they're dealing with now. First set done, 25-17, Japan over Australia.
Here's the numbers then. Japan, 15-12 attack points. A block apiece. Uh, all those aces early. And not only aces, but the overpasses as well. That, uh, that sealed Australia's doom before the midway point of that first city. Shikawa with a couple. Sakita with a couple as well. Well, Australia have uh, got the rangefinders retuned now. Every expectation that this match going forward should be a lot more competitive. Second set underway then on Adira with serve for Japan. Backside it goes. Lincoln Williams looking to try and rub one off the block. Didn't quite work. And then the shooting gets blocked out of it by Jordan Richards. Well, when he was having a tough time, a lot of coaches would have taken him out just to give him a breather on service reception. But Mark Lebedou knew better. Kept him in there. Richards looks like one of those players that just likes to work himself back into it. And boy. He is certainly back in business now. An early stuff block there. So Nemo stays on serve. Ooh, the back three. Nice cue there from Kentaro Takahashi. And Japan have started this first set as poorly as Australia started the, uh, the second set, as far as bad as Australia started the first set. Dear, oh dear. Sakita's had to cover a lot of ground there, and Ishikawa gets blocked out of it, and that's Richards again, and this is absolutely a perfect start from Australia. Can't do it much better than that. Back to 
That's not the best take either. They managed to get out of it, do they? Yes, they do. There was no net touch. The keeper did really well there to feed Ishikawa. Look how close he is to that net. Oh my goodness, that's millimeters away from net contact from the setup. He's judged it perfectly. Ishikawa gets the put away, but that was all about Masahiro Sakita. That was not a good take on serve again. Japan get away with one. Sakita will start this round, this round of serving. Ishikawa with the put away there. That's nice. in the crowd by Thomas Edgar, one of their players, are not able to play. This is quite volleyball in Japan. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. big link again. Rip that one off the block. Not a shock to see the Aussies starting so much better here. If you looked at their performance over the second half of that first set, there was nothing between the two teams. All the damage had been done early, of course. So a nice take off the floor there. Ishikawa has that sent back, but it didn't stay in play. Yes, it did. Yes, it did, is the call. Well, that's interesting. See the flag go up, that says out. But that was overruled in the chair. And there's no complaints from Japan. Much better this from the Aussies. Ishikawa picks that one up. Ishikawa's got no play there at all. Absolute great there. Striding through over the line and realizes, oh, got that one wrong then. Uh, yeah, they're in, uh, they're in change it up territory, aren't they? Fuji will come in for Sakita. What you do, just after a mental breakdown. Just got a prayer. The player just clear his head. Williams then at 6 2. Australia with a terrific start to this set. That's a bit more like Back in business, Takahashi off the quick set from Fuji. And side out achieved. Now the only decision. Yuki Nakagaichi has to make here is how long he keeps his setter Fuji in play and how long he keeps Sakita in the bullpen. It's Ishikawa who does send these zingers over. Staples has got under that. In coming is Williams and he's just over hit that completely. A couple of miscues there from Big Link who puts his hand up and says, Yeah, that's on me. But there's a lot of Lincoln Williams to control, and he's flying through the air at full speed. That keeps Ishikawa back there. That's not good news for the Aussies. Need to get him out of there. Desange Kings went up there for Richards. Picked up in the backcourt by Ishikawa, who's done the things one beautifully. Japan mounting a strong response here early, and it's Ishikawa who seems to be at the heart of everything that's good that's happening for them. Piling up points here. Yuki Ishikawa. From 6 2, it's 6 5. That's a different look altogether. Japan, even with a chance of leveling here as Ishikawa sends in another one. Richards has hoisted that one high. He'll get third touch as well and send it too long, but off the block. An important touch. Australia maintained their edge. Ishikawa was rattled up to uh, double figures already. Nobody else beyond five points at the moment. Ishikawa was on 11. Richards will now serve. Nothing but nylon side out. Has lost that one. 
chalk that one up as another race. Absolute sizzler this time from Kentaro Takahashi. That's a new source of servant prowess for the Aussies to have to worry about. And that lead they had, but now officially gone. Ishikawa with two, Sakita with two, now Takahashi with an ace for Japan as we approach the first technical timeout here in set two. Takahashi with the net serve will take the Aussies to the first technical timeout, 8-7. Travis Passier up to serve next. Australia looking to level this one up. A much more keenly contested second set. And Japan rather gifted the first set. Neatly packed. Wrapped up. And the block there is to contain. And one of the gets taken out twice here. Will they give him a third? No, no. They'll send it over to Nishida. That takes a touch on the way through side out. Good patience there from Japan. Good D from... Uh, the Aussies force the switch of attack and uh, just get a bit of bank stables on the way through there. Yuji Nishida haven't seen much of him serving, not really got anything going yet. And there's another one that goes wrong. Stay level. Yanagida will now drop back to the service line. And, uh, vary the, uh, the attack. Not particularly successfully. Nice pick up from Yamamoto and then absolutely ripping it is Ishikawa. Oh, beautifully played this. Nice pick up again. So important. Yamamoto doing a lot of good work in the backcourt again. And then just ripped through. Ishikawa, amazing how many opportunities are falling to him. Yanagida drills that one. Perry does really well to pick that one up. Well, the put away comes from Nemo. Big name Miyamoto took care of that, but what about that for a pickup? That is outstanding service reception from Luke Perry, and that tells you why Japan haven't been going anywhere near Perry when they've been serving. Keep it away from him. Much needed side out for the Volley Roos. Staples. Looking to break a 10 10 tie here. Nice take from Yanagida. 
But Ishikawa's got some work to do there. Perry's all over that. Richards sends it off Yamamoto and away. Take on surf there, and then the shield ripping through, but going long, going long, and not taking anything there either. That's a miscue from the youngster. And that's his bread and butter swing as well. When he's coming through like that, he's a lethal weapon. Big miss from the Shida. The Staples will carry on serving. 12 10 Australia. Ishikawa, ooh, dear, dear, dear. Well, look at what happens here. A lot of contact on the net there. William is in danger of pulling the net down if he tugged any, any harder on it. So Japan looking to level again then. Too good. Too good. Nemo swats that one away. Took plenty off that as well. Moto, if he hit that any harder, the backcourt would have probably picked that off. Nice touch from the big fella. Who will now go back to serve. Ishikawa gets blocked, but it drops out. Williams read it nicely, could not keep it in play. Chalk that one up, another point, Ishikawa. A win for him. Fuji. Skins an ace off the net cord. That's the kind of break that goes against you when it's not your night. When it hits the net cord like this, anything can happen. This has worked perfectly, absolutely perfectly. It's left Staples completely stranded. It could so easily have come back as a net serve. So Fuji rides his luck, secures an ace, brings Japan level again. Clear it up, Richards will take that. A quick take inside, Passier deals with that side out. Winds one up. Ishikawa takes that really nice Ripping through. See you later, says Masahiro Yanagida. Perfect setup of perfect service reception. Pipe attack, bang, gone. Side out. Ishikawa then. They're dealing with Ishikawa a lot better now. Nothing there for Lincoln Williams. Had to just put the brakes on. Yagida runs right off the block. Japan starting to crank it up a little bit here after that slow start. This is where the Aussies really need to dig in. This has got to be side out now. Big, big gap there for Yanagida to exploit. And he ripped it through the gap. So Ishikawa will stay on. Perry watched it all the way. Yamamoto's got a piece of that. Fuji's kept it alive. Is there a play here? Not much for Ishikawa. They should reset and put it away with Lincoln Williams, who draws one cross court perfectly. Well, the Aussies hanging tough here. This has to be good. Couldn't be much better. Big link. Richards. 
two tries to work through the net corner. So that's what happens when you hit the net corner. It could go anywhere. That'll take Japan to the technical timeout. A second set. That is up for grabs. Well, who can push on from here is the question. The second set has been much more keenly contested. Australia had that early 6-2 lead. Japan pulled it back. And they've been just nipping away at each other ever since. Who can make the breakthrough? Can Kintaro Takahashi conjure up another ace out of somewhere? Nope. Richard's got a piece of that nicely. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. That was a pretty easy call to make. Four touches get called. Another side out. Passier. Ishikawa hasn't handled that at all well. But, uh, Yamanita finishes the job and uh, a great bit of work by Yuji Nishida on second touch here. Because that flew off and he wasn't expecting this. Managed to adjust, hoisted it over. Yanagida takes something off the block and they were all there waiting, weren't they? Still, Japan looking to get a lead here. Uh, he's overdue. Yuji Nishida, pretty quiet on serve so far. Yeah. Had two of them going for it, and there is the ace. Had to cut, had to cut. With Yuji Nishida, it's always a case of when, not if. This was a beauty, a sizzler. Loads of topspin, plenty of speed. And had two players going for it, and for the first time, Japan have a lead to defend here, and Australia have to call a timeout. You, take a, you took a big step to your left, and then went away. So, uh, makes it really hard on him. If he has that thing, leave him, leave him that ball. Okay, guys. Seen a switch up for the Aussies off the uh, timeout with Paul Sanderson coming in for Jordan Richards. As Australia look to just dig in here. Let's see if Nishida goes after the new arrival. Richards out of the firing line. Nishida goes straight after Sanderson, who hangs one up there. Williams can't find a winner though. Well, this will be a chance here for Yamagida. The block is too good. The block sent that straight back. That may well have been Arash de Sanj getting on the end of that. V setter. Very rangy, good blocker. De Sanj. That's got his number written all over it. And Australia force a much needed side out. They certainly couldn't afford to fall behind any further. Now, can they level here? No, no, no. Sent back really quick. Quick set on Adira. Swinging through. Touched almost every Australian player on the way through this one, didn't it? Sanderson getting the last touch. But only helped it on its way. So Japan maintaining their slender edge here. Yanagida. Looking to make it a bit of a wider gap if he can. Goes for the big one. Way too big. Way, way, way too big. Easy lead. Staples then. Still the Aussies looking for this point back. 
Yamamoto with a nice take. Quick inside move again. Madeira taking what's available, sending that back. Keeping their lead here, and every time they side out, they throw a bit more pressure at the Aussies, who certainly cannot afford to drop another point here. Monadera drops back to the service line. Nice take by Staples, and Williams has got to do better than that. They're going to challenge that. Is there a block touch to spare, spare Lincoln Williams' blushes? This is absolutely vital that they get this. I don't see an awful lot there. No, no. That's just a swing and a miss for Big Link. Can't let who knows. That might just be this second set gone. That keeps on Adira back there. with the take. Williams with a chance to atone. The block's done its job. And that block has done its job as well. Ishikawa absolutely wiped out. I think that was Lincoln Williams atoning for the earlier miss here. That'll be poetic justice. Indeed it is. Big Link destroys Ishikawa one on one there. He's still got a fighting chance here. The Volley Ruse. Need a point on serve. Can Nemo help? Uh, not a lot going on there. Williams will have another swing here. Wonderful pickup from Nishida. Ishikawa! That was close though. Passier almost had a big, big chunk of that. Ishikawa coming up big time when they needed it. Which will bring now Nobu Fuji. He's had a long, long run with Sakita on the bench. Very happy with uh, his switch up here, Yuichi Nakagaichi. So it's Williams. Australia looking to find two points on serve. And the block has done its job. And uh, Takahashi couldn't find a winner at the second attempt either. Sanderson tries to sneak one over. It might just work. That's come back brilliantly from Ishikawa. And the second attempt are too good. Our after Sanj. Beautiful, beautiful. Look for all the world like he was setting up, but he had one thing on his mind, second touch available. And that's one of those points back they need, the Aussies. They're back in this now. Yeah, beautifully faked. Setting up all the way as if they were going to feed Staples. And he took it himself. Now it's Yuichi Nakagaichi who has to call a timeout. And Philippe Blaine, the Frenchman who's the assistant coach, who's the in-game adjustment specialist, will have some observations here. There he is. <laughs> I'm making good choices in the demo block. Huh? So you should be ready to go to your Alpha. I was like uh, and covering and everything. Huh? Okay? Okay, right, right, stand out. Okay. Okay. It's a coaching partnership that really works well with Yuichi Nakagaichi, the big picture guy, the guy that sets the tone. Well, who is so respected and highly regarded by his players. And then Philippe Blaine, who is such a master strategist in game. He'll see little things that can make a big, big difference. It says a lot about the two coaches as well, that they both work so well to each other's strengths. It's a definite partnership. It's been very successful for Japan, but they've got a little issue here now. They've got to force side out. As the Aussies are looking to fight back here and level it up. One more point will do it. And it's Williams. We'll look for it. Can't find it there. And then Bill got in the way. Nevertheless, they've got a chance, but the pressure.
Treasuries usually got to sign out. And he's saying Otake, defensive specialist, has also got a phenomenal serve, will come in, but he's been brought in here, not for his serving, but for his strength of the net. A bit more height in there, and Aguida will check out. They want a block here. Just buy themselves an insurance package. Ishikawa sizzles that one. Nice take by Staples. Really nice take. And Sanderson gets blocked out. Well, it wasn't Itake. It might have been Takahashi. Nishida was alongside him. I think that was the big middle that's got a bit of this. And has surely secured this second set. There it is. Takahashi says that mine. All mine. Well, the have to burn their second time out. Looks like this second set just got away from them. Keep your heads up, watch really closely. Okay, for a different play here. All right, nothing changes. We go back on the next one. Stand on, stand on serve, yeah? Yeah. Looking to wrap it up here then, this first set. And it's the man who's had the hot hand throughout these two sets. Yuki Ishikawa that will look to wrap it up. He has two aces. Can he get a third here? You know, that's a nice take from Sanderson, who's been a real steady presence there. That's been uh, put up in the air and sent away. Lincoln Williams will make Japan sweat this out. Otake will come out. Yanagida comes back in. He's clinging to this by their fingernails. Sanderson, the new man. Nice take from Ishikawa. Nishida dribbles it. That'll do it. A much more entertaining and certainly a lot more competitive second set. Australia had the big early lead. Couldn't hold on to it. Japan went through the gears. Blew by them. And then held their nerve to take the second set, 25-22. And take a commanding two-set stranglehold on this one. The Aussies are going to have to come from a long way back if they want to get something out of this one. This one at the moment, heading Japan's way. Uh, just about everybody in this arena very happy about that. Here's the numbers then from that second set. And Japan out hitting Australia 16 9. The blocks coming Australia's way with Craig Richards leading the way there. Jordan Richards, excuse me. But again, they're still struggling with service reception. Three aces for Japan. To add to the four they secured in the first set. The Aussies don't have an ace yet.
last confirmation. Absolutely ripping aces here, down everywhere. And one of the problems the Aussies have got is they don't know where it's coming from. There's plenty coming down the middle, but uh, lots of variety as well. Just don't know where to defend. It's not like they've consistently gone after one player in that backboard either. On service reception, the Japanese have mixed it up beautifully. They've served with a very, very high standard. And if the Aussies can't find a way to deal with that in this third set, there may not be a fourth set. Well, it'll be the man they call Nemo to get this third set underway, which is appropriate for Australia because they must feel like they're sinking fast. Fast start from Japan, grabbing the initiative early, and uh, now Nobu Fuji is certainly enjoying this extended run he's getting at centre here. Set that up beautifully for Onodira for the easy put away. Madeira then now will serve. <laughs> it's Williams. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, he just picked up off the floor. The machine has got work to do here. Williams rather made a mess of first touch here. Can Sanderson come up with anything? No. Fuji picked that up. Far side, Nishida. Dos is on that. Good rally, this. And then the block comes in. And it's Takahashi to wipe out Williams. Well, they put it where they wanted it. The big left handed swing from Big Link. Well, Takahashi was there to read it. If Japan can win the block battle find it hard to see how Australia can win this match. They're serving so well, they're hitting really well. If they can just match Australia block for block, that had to be taken by the Sands. It wasn't a great service reception at all. The Sands made something out of not a lot there. It wasn't the uh, greatest first touch from Sanderson, or the setter, turn it into something special. So Sanderson will whip one in there. 
Now the blocks there in place. And that'll be Williams absolutely rip that through. Well, Yamamoto will pick most things up, but he couldn't get anywhere near that. That was just a clean kill cross court from Big Link. That's a point on serve for the Aussies. Puts the pressure on Japan. Sanderson serves Yamamoto again. Coming from the pipe attack. The see you later shot from Tatsuya Fukuzawa, who comes in, bringing fresh legs and energy for Japan. Well, it's Ishikawa taking a breather. And that's quite a weapon to be able to come in off the bench. Ishikawa did so much work through those first two sets. And then they can bring fresh weapons in. Lincoln Williams absolutely ripped that down the line. And that wasn't coming back. Absolutely no chance. That's a couple of very impressive hits early in this set for Williams. You can't hit it much better than that. The block absolutely nowhere to be seen before that had gone past. Which will bring Takahashi up. Nice take there from Staples, who will get third touch as well. And third touch caused enough confusion on the other side of the net to secure an Australia point. It's one of those, the ball turns into a bar of soap in the shower, doesn't it? And nobody can get hold of it. And before you know it, it slipped out your hands and gone. You end up with soap in your eyes. To Sanj. Nishida. Oh, a quick side out's going on at the moment. In the early skirmishes in this third set. Lovely reverse set there from Fuji. He's looking very, very good out there. That set up for Japan. Mixing everything up nicely. Now, Nishida, we know, has always got a big one there somewhere. Although the Aussie's service reception is so much better than we saw in that first set. Oh, Sanderson's got underneath it, is all you can say there. This is a tough take. Yeah, you just have to push and hope. Oh, he's unlucky. He's unlucky there because there was a complete breakdown on the other side of the net. Japan got away with one there. Or did they? The Aussies are going to challenge that. I must admit, in real time, that looked like it just dropped the wrong side of the line for uh, Mark Lebedew. Does it catch any part of the line here? Oh, that's close. Oh, they're out of luck. They're out of luck. That was one of those points that was all about luck because Japan just got lucky. Lincoln Williams just got unlucky, simple as that. They didn't read that third touch at all, Japan, got away with one. Worth a challenge, that one as well. So Nishida will stay on. Sanderson does a better job with that, hangs it high. Williams will look to swing through that one, but uh, Yanagida is there, Nishida is there as well, and that's too hot for the Sanj to pick up. And it's Japan who make the first move here in this third set. Really nice pick up there from Yanagida. The backside set. The see you later swing from the kid. 19-year-old Yuji Nishida. Serving at 7-5. Aussies need a side out here. They don't want this fella building up ahead of steam. Oh, it's a beauty. Perry sent it over on first touch. Really good serve. Nishida's coming through to finish the job. Perry with a pancake that's brilliant. Williams rubs that one off the block. Yamamoto's back there, driving through. And off the net. No touch. Yanagida, side out Australia. Brilliant there from Perry. Might have uh, overpassed on 
service reception that redeemed himself with an absolutely wonderful dig there and he's <laughs> sucking up the oxygen there certainly involved in that point spent an awful lot of time on court as well Perry uh -oh. That's a shame there for Max Staples. Japan reached the first technical timeout, 8 6. Kuzawa serving then at 8-6. Japan pull clear here. Can Australia tuck in, stay close? Well, we helped the Australian cause with service, service like that. Where my Mote then? Yanagida, who will get third touch as well. The Sands was reading it. That's called cool. 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 in no man's land there. And at the end of the easy put away. Yanagida off the uh, arm rushing. The Sands, who thought he'd uh, read the dink into midcourt. Yanagida swung through. What a deal with that serving of nine seven. That's a tough take for Bassange. Yeah, no real play there at all, and nothing there for Fuji either. Now, can anybody swing? They can. Yeah, it's an Aussie point off the touch. The block touch. Sanderson ripping through here. Duel continues. Now Nobu Fuji is up next in the rotation for Japan. Sanderson takes that. Sanderson will get third touch as well. There is a whistle there. That's a double touch call. That's a big error. There were no great complaints with Desange either. No complaints, sir. Usually a waste of time. They'll only bring you a card of some colour. G then. Serve again. Sanderson looks for the little hook shot. Doesn't quite pay off. That's nice. He ripped it there. Yanagida sent it deep. The cross court kill. Too good. Yamamoto with a wonderful rescue. And then Yanagida sneaking it through the block. And off the backcourt defender and away. And Aussies are in trouble now. They're four points in arrears. 
And two right. sets down. One again. Okay, on the short distance, make sure you leave it inside, Arash. Okay? Uh, all right, and the next one. Nice spots against uh, their position fours now. All right, so we get, we're going to get some chances. Uh, and we keep going, keep playing for everything. Sign out this for the Aussies. This is not one of those deadly servers sending in howitzers at you. And for G, he's picking up points on serve with another one just floated in the air there in pain. And away you go. <laughs> well, they've actually managed to recover that. That's absolutely wonderful stuff from uh, Nishida, but sure. Oh, and the next. Oh, that's why you do it. That's why you chase and chase and chase. You hope for the error. And it's a huge one from Travis Passier. Feel sorry for him. He had all day to put that away. Sometimes you just have too much time. So Nishida not giving up on it. The one in a million came off then for Japan. That might be it for Australia. I mean, the uh, air's coming out of the tyres in a hurry here. Long serve, and now Nobu Fuji finally comes to an end with a net serve, but he knows and there's another three-set victory to be had here. And absolutely dominant at the moment. Sanderson. Yamamoto gets behind that machine. to the collection, the growing collection here. That's another beauty and a brilliant, absolutely brilliant reflex adjustment there from DeSange. He'll tell everybody this is exactly what he meant. He really had no other play, just had to punch it over and hope for the best. And it came off. The Aussies reluctant to celebrate.
whatever, we have a chance. We got a series of points before in all rotation. Okay, so we go, we go plan out. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Takahashi then serving at 16-11. Aussies must side out. Nothing else now will do. Takahashi helps him out. Here's to Sanj. Serving Yanagida, nice easy take. Yoshida goes for a little poke. That's all it needed. Side out. And all about execution. Huge gap there, mid court. For Yoshida to exploit. We're seeing a switch up here with uh, Fuji going out and Otake coming in. As Japan look to set the block here. Really put this thing to bed. Can the Sheeta find another race? Ooh. And it's been nicely picked up there by Yanagida for Kuzawa. Perry picks that one up to Sands with a chance to send it over to Williams and rips one down the line, side out. Now Sakita will come back in. So it looks like now Nobu Fuji's day is done. Sakita started, and uh, Japan will hope Sakita finishes because Japan will want this done right here. Staples. Oh, Perry's done really well to keep that up in the air. Sanderson rips them off the block. The Aussies put one of those points they need back. Really well played point by them. They'll keep Staples at the service line. Good dive and take there by Yanagida. This is a must get. And they haven't got it. Because I was denied again, but that's just going to go and go and go. Really frustrating for Staples there. Done all the hard work, set it up, and then just over hits it. Tough break, absolutely the right idea. Just, just sailed on it, didn't it? That's an opportunity gone. I don't know how to swing at that. So here's Fukuzawa then. Sanderson's done really well here. Williams has got to do really well on Baz. Side out. Confident swing with three blockers waiting for him as well. That was a lot to beat. Rip through them. Mote then. Still the Aussies not quite out of this. Looking for three points on serve. Yamamoto takes that pretty comfortably backside to Otake. They're in trouble here. Otake just about getting the better of Sanderson there. Again, the Aussies not giving up on anything. But there was no miracle for them. Great hustle from Mote in vain. Not gone unnoticed by his teammates. So Japan now, they look to pull further clear on Adira. 
But they'll happily side out. Maybe we'd like some assurance. We're not going to get it there. They're a rather weak one into the net. That'll bring somebody who never hits weak to the service line. Big Lincoln Williams as uh, Yuki Yuichi Nakagaichi issues his instructions from the sideline. Nice take. Otake blocked. Really good block. Sanderson was there. Sanderson's there again. So too is Perry back court. This will come to Williams who rubs one off the block beautifully. Now, they're putting some pressure on here. That four point deficit just got cut in half. So it's switch up time for Japan with Nishida and Fuji coming back in. So Take and Sakita back out. And he's gone back to Fuji and Seta here. And Australia suddenly showing a flash of defiance here. Can they somehow get themselves into this match? Get themselves level, maybe even pinch the set. They've got a chance here, a really good chance. Yamagita's got to be good. No, Australia will keep possession and keep control, and Williams will rip that, but oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The foot fault from Williams. Got to take off behind that three meter line. And the foot was straight onto it. What a chance that was. That's another tough break for the Aussies. So Fuji serving. Japan needing five points. It should come back. It does. Sanderson rubs on off the block side out. Because he's going down fighting. If they're going down at all, which is by no means assured yet. Sanderson then. Just misses. Oh my goodness, how close was that? Oh. That was a brave and a really strong serve. And it deserved better than that. And it's another point, Japan. Edging their way to the magic number here. Yanagida. Go for the big one. And two nets. Serving has gone awry here. Japan are putting themselves under pressure. And they're going for as many big bodies as they can here. Mote joining Staples and Assange in the front court. That's three big beasts up there. They're on the block and they'll get a point on that. Yamamoto with the overpass and the easy putback. And suddenly the Aussies, who were staring at a four point deficit, are now poised to level this one up and uh, Yuichi Nakagaichi has to call a halt to this and suddenly Japan are playing as if this match is already over and it's not. Big moment in this match then. Australia serving to level it up with Travis Passier. They've been chasing pretty much the whole set. But as we get close to the winning post, they've got a chance to level it up here. Can they take it? Now they can. Service reception is terrific. Tentado Takahashi ripped it away. Not the biggest server to bring up there. All the Aussies. 
Takahashi will now serve. Trying to give Japan a little bit of breathing room. They're not going to get it there. Their serving really is completely offline. The second half of this third set. Everything's nets and longs. Nothing coming of Australia at all. Of course, the many problems. The next problem for Japan is fighting off an Arash Dosange serve. And the Aussies looking to level, and they're going to level possibly here. Big miscue there from Fukuzawa, and he's done really, really well off the backside set. Yuji Nishida rescues the situation. Fuji did a wonderful job on second touch. Nishida ripped it off the block. The Aussies now have to call a timeout with Japan just two points away. Has to be side out here. Mark Leverdu is going to just talk this one over as well. We go, G Banana. We've got time actually, we've got 60 seconds. All right, no one there's there, man. All right, he's going to bang it. We're going to nail the net tape. Don't have to chase it too much. Okay. Here we go. Nishida then serving at 23-21. Skimmed over the net cord, where's the sound? Can't take that. Mote couldn't find a winner. Yanagida was there. Perry's picked that one up as well. Williams. Nice. Too good for the block. Must win point this. Thomas Edgar looking on his countrymen hang on for dear life here. Still time for them to level. They just need the one point on serve. They're not going to get it there. That takes it to match point. So even if they side out here, they will have one last chance, the Aussies. But first, they've got to side out. The pressure now building. Nearly there then, match point, and it will be Tatsuya Fukuzawa looking to wrap this up in three for Japan right here. It's a soft one. Oh, where's that going? Jones got away with it, but they can set here. Nishida! That'll do it! Straight sets win for Japan. Italy and Tunisia were swept aside in three. Argentina in four. Now they got back to winning ways in three. It's Australia that have been dispatched. Japan improved to four and two. Their dreams of a podium finish in this year's World Cup remain intact. As for Australia, never really got over that slow start where they just tossed away the first set. The first half of that first set was dreadful right across the board. They settled down and it was competitive after that, but they were always chasing. And they could never quite play catch up. In many ways, that was a lot more entertaining than the scoreline would suggest, especially those last two sets. But no question that Japan were worthy winners of this one. They'll go home happy in Hiroshima. This one has been won by Japan in three. Here's the numbers then from that last set, as you can see, so close. 
so close. The ace serve and how well did Japan serve throughout this match proved to be a big difference maker. Nils, he didn't get a, an ace all match, I think. That'll be confirmed when we look at the uh, overall numbers. And certainly in that first set, their service reception but really all over the place. Here is confirmation of the overall numbers which uh, reveal exactly zero aces for the Aussies. They're allowed eight. They won the block battle, but the Aussies would really have expected that. And a comfortable 44-34 edge in attack hits for Japan. Opponent errors, absolutely level. Good entertaining match. But no question that the uh, better team won. And Ishikawa, who got benched. Ended up as the game's top scorer with 15 points. A couple of ace serves in there as well. Richards with three blocks. He too got benched. And at the end of the day, these fans who still are staying in the arena, very, very few people leave early, catching glimpses of their heroes here. They wanted to see a comfortable win. A comfortable win is what they got. And it's Japan who improved to four and two. The medal might be an impossible dream, but they're still in the mix. And there's still a real chance of finishing with a winning record overall as well, which would be something else for them to uh, really shoot for. Okay, so I'm with uh, Tatsuya Fukuzawa from Team Japan. First of all, congratulations on your big win against Australia. How important was today's win to stay close to the top teams in the tournament? Yeah, so we could play good in Hiroshima. So we have to keep uh, our places. So after I moved to uh, at this in Hiroshima, <laughs> I mistake today. <laughs> After my Hiroshima, is, is, today is the first match, so we have to concentrate again, and we have to keep fighting. And the start of the match, we could play better. Yeah, so service is good, and everything is very good. Right, second second set and uh, third set is a very close sport, but uh, we are the team, and so we help each other. Yeah, so we we could get the three zero and the three points. We 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 are happy. So yeah, yeah. I think you know you were in fourth place, and then with today's win, I'm sure you know you're you're in the higher rank. Yes, yes. So that's very important for you. Um, so tomorrow you play Russia. Yeah, yeah. And what is it about their game that might be a tough match for Team Japan? Yeah, so the Russian team is uh, they have the very big guys. So maybe we face on the problem against the big block. So you have to manage about that, and uh, we try to consider about everything, so we manage. So we can do it, so we, yeah, we prepare for the tomorrow match. Yeah. And you got a great crowd in Hiroshima too, so if you want to uh, give a me uh, message or something to the fans who... Uh, yeah. So Hiroshima also, is a lot of people coming to this arena, so it, it's a, it's happy to it's happy for us so for sure tomorrow match is very difficult match but uh, we have the very big supporters yeah this is our home games yeah so we can get success again yeah we hope uh, uh you have another successful game tomorrow and congratulations again yeah, so all right good luck
So here's the good news for Japan. Tucked into fourth place, just behind the big guns. Can they crack a top three finish here? They'll look to carry that on against Russia tomorrow in what will be a serious battle for them. And then they'll wrap up against Egypt before a day off. And then they'll push on against Iran, Brazil, and Canada. But that concludes match day six from Hiroshima. Hope you've enjoyed it. Join us tomorrow for match day seven as the battle continues.